So our daughter, Grace, actually eats through a G-tube, a literal feeding tube that goes straight into her stomach from the outside world into her stomach, and that's how she gets all her nutrition. Now, before we made the decision to go to raw foods, we talked to our doctor, talked to dietitians, talked to all those folks. We realized something that was crazy, and that was this. It was illegal to buy raw milk for her food, her main food, the main thing that was going to get the food into her belly. I mean, there's other stuff. But it was illegal to buy raw milk in Ohio, which brings me to the workaround that I think is going to be a big, big solution, possibly, maybe even for you, for the whole, you will eat bugs, you will own nothing, and you'll be happy, you're going to do whatever the machine tells you. Ladies and gents, we are in a pickle, and the truth is this, that any people group can be easily controlled if you just control one thing, the food supply. So here's the scoop. We have been seeing in the news and online and everywhere, and if you don't believe me, just start looking this stuff up, folks. Look up W-E-F, and you will own nothing, and you will be happy. You're going to eat bugs. You can see it everywhere. They're pushing bugs as meat. Bugs are great for you. You should eat bugs. It's going to save the planet. All of that stuff. Bugs, bugs, bugs. Yet... They don't eat bugs. Hmm. That's a whole nother story for another another video some other time. But here is what I was thinking. Telling you about my daughter Grace having the issue with not having access to legal raw milk. Well, here's the scoop, folks. There's a workaround. There's a workaround for all of this, the bug thing. It, it's not going to work forever because I'm, I'm assuming eventually they're going to go, oh, geez, oh, Pete's. Maybe we should uh, lock that down. But it's going to be for everything that you can consume. Think about the way that unions work. Think, way, think about the way that lobbyists work. And they work with the lawmakers. And they make laws so that you can or cannot do just about anything, really, when you really think about it. Uh, you're... We're all, we, we're all controlled a lot more than we would like to admit it. So with the bug thing, it's not just going to be bugs and meat. Think about what's next. It's, it's going to be vegetables and all kinds of stuff. Think about all the chemicals that are sprayed everywhere all the time, all the time. And it's completely legal, no big deal. Stuff gets sprayed in the skies all the time that you didn't pay for. Yet it's dropping on your house and on your food supply. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Anyway, another story for another time. Back to the original topic, which is this. Here's the workaround, folks. You want to push back, then you're going to have to take control of your food situation. And for fo folks who are food producers, here it is. Make herd shares. Herd shares. Now, I understand that it's not going to be a herd share for things like carrots, but here's the way it works. When we were trying to get milk for our daughter, Grace, like I said, it was illegal. Well, legally, you can own a portion of a cow, and then that portion of what that cow makes is not really sold to you. It's yours. Do with it as you want. That's a herd share. So the way it worked in Ohio, and I'm not a lawyer, so you check up on all the legal stuff, yada, yada, yippee, skippy. I'm just stripping it down. The way it worked in Ohio was we could pay a fee to a farmer and then buy a portion of that herd, in which case was a cow. So we were entitled to legally get X amount of, portion, percentage, of whatever that cow produced. So I got to thinking to myself, self, I said, self, Brad, Brad, you're, you're, not a, you're, not a, you're not a dumb as a box of rocks. You may be close, but here's a good idea. What if people started doing herd shares for things like meat? Now, you may say, Brad, they're already doing that. You're probably already typing. Good. Now, how do we ramp that up? 
do herd shares for everything you eat. Not necessarily a herd share for vegetables. You can call it a crop share. You say, Brad, they're doing that. Well, we need to ramp that up. You see, here's the thing. The only way that this stuff changes is by money. Money, money, money. And if you really look at the way that modern ag stuff works, it just they're giant corporations that get bigger and bigger and bigger. Why? Because the federal government helps them by making laws that benefit them, and then they work back and forth to control effectively the controls that they have over the food system. Well, what happens when all these gigantic companies get together and they all say, you know what, it would be really, really good if, for the sake of the planet, if we just stopped eating meat and we ate bugs instead, and then you're forced to do that. Now, at first, at first, it'll probably be like they did with cigarettes. Do you remember what they did with cigarettes? They didn't, when when the big stink happened and all of a sudden cigarettes were the thing that the federal government was like, cigarettes bad, even though there's a billion things that are bad for you. And I'm not, I'm not advocating for cigarettes. I'm not. But what I'm saying is if you remember, like, okay, time to demonize cigarettes when there's tons of other stuff you know, booze and drugs and da-da-da-da, right? But cigarettes, it's your time. What they did was they just kept taxing it. They kept taxing it higher and higher and higher and higher and a tax on this and a tax on that. And they would say, we're not we're, we're not banning cigarettes. That's silly, silly. But what they did was they effectively priced many people out of it or they made it so expensive that the cigarette companies didn't care. I mean, did they make like a healthy diet cigarette or or cancer-free cigarette? Because I I don't remember seeing that one marketed. You can probably tell me. I'm sure somebody will. Back to the point. The solution, guys, is money. It always comes down to money. And if you can take away money from the big ag machine by getting your own food somewhere else, then they're going to change what they do. Because they want that money. So, herd shares, milk shares, cow shares, crop shares, goat shares, carrot shares. How about that? Because if you can own a portion of that crop, which I know, guys, it's being done right now, but we need to ramp it up. How do you take it to the mainstream? This is the big question. This is the $64 million billion question, really. How do you take it to the mainstream? How do you just circumvent the machine? How do you go direct to the people in a much bigger way? Because for me, here's a question for you guys, for me. For me, I know that even though we grow a lot of things here on our homestead slash farm, farmstead, whatever you want to call it, our house, we grow a lot of things, but I there's a lot of things I can't grow. Man, I would love to be able to hook up with somebody who lives in a tropical area to buy things like oranges and pineapples, citrusy things, lemons, um, how about fresh aloe? There's all kinds of stuff that if somebody down there said, you know what, I have a crop share. Well, cool. How do I find out about that? Put your stuff in the comments section. If you know those people, put it in there. Hey, here's here's a good moment. This You're going to love this, folks. You're going to love this. Because normally YouTube channels freak out when anybody wants to promote something else that's not their channel because for some weird reason everybody thinks like the internet is so small that they got to guard their viewers and don't look at anybody else's channel because then it's going to somehow take away from them and it's all like high school and baloney and it's stupid. I'm trying to say that if you got a good suggestion, put it down below, even if it's not my suggestion. Cool. Just good suggestion. How do we get all of those individual people doing their own shares, farm share, herd share, crop share? How do we ramp it up? 
there's the answer to the $64 billion question because if I'm getting my milk from X share and I'm getting my meats from X share and I'm sharing what I have with blah, blah, blah share, there it is. Then you cut the head of the snake off. And if you want to eat bugs, eat bugs, go nuts. But I don't want somebody else trying to tell me what I can and cannot eat or control me in a way that, frankly, is none of their business. My only, uh, I'm going to, I'm getting in trouble. Yeah, I'm just going to say this. How do you ramp it up? How do you make it bigger? Herd shares, crop shares, all of that. That's how we circumvent where I own a little part of that crop. I own a little part of this. I own a little part of that. Somebody out there is smart enough to figure this out. I got the idea. Now run with it. Make it bigger. Ladies and gents, I don't really want worm burgers. Call me crazy. And vegetarians, guess what? If you think that you're going to somehow get out of this, I got news for you. Once they've figured out how to control that, they're going to control your celery. Oh, yes, they're coming for your celery. And then it's going to be apples. And, oh, my gosh, what happens when the pears are on the chopping block? You get the point? It's going gonna, it's gonna to be complete control. You're allowed to have this. You're not allowed to have that. Ladies and gents, comments down below. You have an amazing and blessed day. Bye.